everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. In my country, Taiwan, this person is saying this is how people reacted to the Niji Yen O O U E N Cafe collab. Uh, this is, you know, their, their actual things. Uh, let's see. Bullying's victory. Will it be canceled suddenly? DGN is very dark and not very reliable recently. Ike Albin's drawings look so great. It'd be funny if someone suddenly graduates halfway through the collab plus one yacht. Negligible Nidhi Sanji Ian's collab feels a bit dangerous. Uh, people are counting it insignificant. They're saying it's bullying. They're saying negligible. One person who's next to graduate, Kotoka, has been on hiatus for a long time. Hope no one graduates again before the collab. A little bit of everything here. Uh, source is the gnn.gamer.com Taiwan. Also, for those who don't know why people wrote 80 there. Uh, together, it sounded like pun for the word bullying. Oh, that's why people wrote 80 there. Okay. So, yeah. It's a uh, whole news on the whole situation that's going to be happening. We already know. We have, um, it looks like Millie's going to be there. It looks like Petra, you know, Ike, Luke, Luca, uh, Sunny, you know, all, all the other people are going to be there. You're going to have, yeah, it's pretty much going to be there. All throughout everything. And um, people are doing 80, like has been said, because that is basically saying bullying. So, yeah, it's I wish the talents do not get any uh, harassment for this. But it I don't hope for success either because Nidhi Sanji deserves to see that when you hurt your talents, when you don't support your talents, people will leave. I hope they get to see that. Now, whatever you think of Millie Parfait. Whatever you think of anybody that's going on here. Same thing I said with Anna. Same thing I said with Elira. Um, if they are actually feeling hurt. If they're actually going through mental crises because of things that are happening. I am not going to laugh in their face. I am not going to do that. Because I go through mental crises uh, a considerable amount of times. I have um, persistent depressive disorder and a lot of other things that make me hit those crises at several times during the year. So I haven't hit that darkest moment in my life and having hit those dark times in my life, I do not want to be the type of person to throw shade and be angry at someone for having their life, you know, not go so well or be happy that someone is not going through the life. You're not a failure. You're just a difficult point in time right now. Of course, this is a positive thing to say to anybody. It might be a motivational thing for themselves that they're saying to themselves. They're saying to other livers. They're saying to their fans, whoever it is, it is sad to see any livers suffer. Like I said, whatever her stance against the company, no company should make their employee feel that they're a failure. Too bad Japanese companies often do and will make even their most competent and hardworking employees feel like a failure anyways. They're purposely made to feel undervalued so that they can stay with the company longer than they should be. That's how a JP Corp do to keep the cheap and competent workers. Gaslighting them, the companies can save money and exploit them as much as possible. The black companies do that all the time. So that's never good. Um, in Hong Kong, old bastard management did this to me. I've had that done to me in the U.S., so it's not only a JP thing. Uh, they make you feel like you're worth nothing outside of them, like they're going to blacklist you, that they're going to badmouth you to everyone else, and it makes you feel like you're stuck there. Also, wasn't she having some personal family issues going on too, or was that Anna? No, it was Millie, I believe. Going through personal problem for a few weeks now, serious enough to where she had only streamed a single time in June, and went radio silent on Twitter for about a week. Again, I wish her well on just a personal uh, no, I wish her well. I wish that I hope that she is not ha going through as much trouble as she is before and hope that she gets better. A sad moment for Konoar because uh, the concert event was one of their big steps to be big in the West. One of their big steps to be well, more well known in the West. As we know, Niri Sanji Ian is horrible at su supporting their, their, their people. Horrible at supporting anybody who works for them. So that is an unfortunate situation for anybody who works for them. Hopefully, they get better treatment and hopefully they get to perform at some point. Uh, Vispo EN debuts watched last night had around 28k CCV average, which is twice more than when EGN's latest debut had. EN is fading rapidly. Uh, if you're on Vispo debut numbers, when you look at the grass, it looked botted. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, a lot of times the debuts can be botted. It can be uh, just, ooh, Vispo is doing something new. Let's take a look at that. There could also be that. Already not too well received, regardless of the most recent failure, due to lack of exposure. Barely know who they are. Like I said, exposure helps a lot, and they haven't gotten any. Uh, plus, speaking only for JP, it's kind of hard for me to find a reason to watch them with the new ever-expanding hollow EN sphere, Vispo EN. You know, you also have um, other EN companies, other Japanese companies, going into the EN sphere. How much we Westerners do th uh, that do seem first as failures to the company as a whole, and disguise and disagree with Niji Sanji. The failures of Niji Yen also play a factor in showing them no interest. 
Plus the past I've heard them is that the energy drink and alcohol fiasco, all that type of stuff. Yeah, it just doesn't look good for them. Unfortunately, uh, Nidhi Sanji, whether it be Ian or JP, don't do well in supporting their talents. Here we have what someone is calling Nidhi sociopaths, but it's pretty much the Nidhi Sanji defenders. They're having a civil war again. They're doing bullying and they're doxing each other. They can't help it because there's no one else to attack, it seems, and they're going after each other. All I ever wanted to was to make things for Hex, not, to, not for attention, because he saved me during one of my darkest times. And like I always say, if there is a person that's like that for you, Go right for them. Even if they are Niji Sanji or they're, you know, part of Wachter or whoever, enjoy your Oshi, whoever they may be. And no one was ever trying to one-up them. There were closed group projects, so one, uh, other people did their own for Hex, not for any other reason. Phantom isn't a competition. It's supposed to be a celebration. We're all supposed to be here for the same reason. Kamiyoshi loved, genuinely, loved you genuinely, but this is how you treat him back and dragging the whole community a safety net to get away from your atrocities. Again, may I ask what happened? I find it questionable if it's hard to see the line between what is normal private conversations that is venting to others and a conversation on how to bully people until they break, especially when their victims get pinned as bully instead. Uh, actively spying on vent channels in other servers to send screenshots via Streamlabs to play the victim isn't venting. Joking about posting on a well-known doc site is inventing. So yeah, they're attacking each other. Don't try to effing wash hands as if you're not part of the bullying incident within the sickling community. Uh, sickling, I guess, is their hex community. Take accountability. You MFR, you guys have grown up public hairs below yet, acting like a high schooler. Um, one year of holding the effort you did, the lies and manipulation, they're just attacking each other. It's freaking crazy. Uh, it says, for any new sicklings that arrive coming into this community, please don't let the situation sway you uh, to not talk about to your new friends or watch your Oshi. Of course, have fun with your Oshi. The ones that have come across been nothing but so genuinely sweet to me. And in the end, they're so passionate about what they do with their Oshi. Don't worry, sicklings. You'll never be ostracized or separated from the community. Uh, I've seen some sicklings worried that the actions of a few will make them all hated in the community. Of course, actions of a few should not reflect on the many. But it is crazy that they're eating each other alive. Are they running out of external targets? So now they're looking inward. That's how it works with these sorts of people. Uh, that just happened. Thanks for the explanation. Parasocial Hex fans turning on each other was not something I expected. Uh, from what I understand, it's the sisters in Hex's cult starting bullying, doxing each other out of jealousy. This is the professionally trained Yab hiders. Uh, since they are since they know drama tubers are watching them, so I doubt to see more receipts beyond what just vague posting. So yeah, it's just not not good overall in any community. Welcome to another little bit of memes here. Who would win? A cowardice billion dollar company, agony color with all the things that they were gonna do, or vague problems at Peacock Theater. That well, you know. Basically, science from AX is the issue speaks volumes. If it was a safety issue, they would have addressed it themselves, but there's been nothing, so it's on Niji Sanji's shoulders. Wouldn't cancel it if the seats are fully booked. Even if there were safety issues, they would just do what Doki Bird's doing and actually have more people. So that's a little bit of a meme thing. As we all know, uh, the Schizo Parrot Parrot 4chan is always in the mines, always being forced to do things for Nadi Sanji because of the mines. The mines are just too crazy for him. Here you go. He has another one on the mail edition. This is Hoyoverse sponsoring SCD Parrot 4chan based Hoyoverse. Also Parrot getting overworked again. Uh, also needing my cameo at the 14 minute mark. So yeah, we have um, them going up through everything. We have, uh, you know, just taking a look at little things. Bitch. The gift would usually be food. However, getting a puppet is still a downgrade. On the other hand, the Niji Sanji's Takuno puppet. Even the Japs make fun of him. Oh God. Box 70 days since last stream. Elira 50 days since last stream. Kotoka 50 days since last stream. It's time to take their place, Anon. Oh, God, no. Hey, motherfuckers. Why is Corpo Management? <laughs> Abilities. Doctor said it's overwork. Oh, Why God. didn't he just fucking ask? Why didn't he just ask? If he wanted a break, they're really he going hard on the cod. We can just fucking harass him or whatever. Bro. In my opinion, I do not think it was a form of overwork. <laughs> he could have Fox. just fucking asked for some time. Oh off, God, no? Fox. Asked for a break? Did he fucking not? We could just fucking ask, but whatever, man. Welcome to Niji Sanji's favorite game show. There bro. we go. I'll take it away, Rima. I'm sorry for what you're about to read, Anans. I apologize for the explicit words, but I want to feel that beard on my pussy. Oh, God. There we go. Of course, I'm going to have Rima in there. That's just a little bit. Of course, I'm not going to show every single bit of it because that would be taking too much from Parrot 4chan. Give him the support that he deserves because poor guy is still in the Niji Minds even though he wanted to do another video on uh, just regular stuff like over here. Just showing it. Man, Ian 4 just debuted. This is gonna be a fun video. Ah! Ah! And the Niji male video? Really? Do you have no soul? 
guys. And there we go. That's what happened. That's what Riku and, and Nidhi Sandy did to him. So give him some support, of course. Of course, uh, we have a wonderful, wonderful send off that we had yesterday for Achan, the uh, smiley, shining story, shining smiley story, whichever one it's called. We had that one. And now we have a hologra thing that they're doing for her where she is uh, enjoying her time there, enjoying, you know, that she's going to be able to go. She's on the last day. She has to leave on time. Maybe. Maybe. All right, everyone. Thanks for everything. <laughs> to buy some good food and binge TV. They're all plugging your <laughs> Ah, you gotta love that. I love it. Wanna leave work on time? Touchy, touchy your ear lobbies. See who's springier. <laughs> Grenades. Extra mail. Roboco. Scrap. <laughs> so cute. They all want her attention. It's just so cute. <laughs> Sumo wrestling, holy crap. Lovely Haloka. They all disappear. She's going off like a comic. <laughs> Boom, she blew everything up. All done. Oh, <sighs> that's very cute. I blew her away. That's very cute. That's heartwarming. That's very heartwarming. Did it lunch beforehand? That was all you. That is very cute. <laughs> it's a schedule! Every minute counts! Launch the time into the rocket launcher in the opposite style? Yes. In peace on the last day, of course not. Because she made a lot of friends. People there, people gone, people like Koko, Kiryu Koko, people like Mikineko, who is, who is and now Mikineko, who was Rushia, people like Mel, people like Alo, even the short time that they were there. Other people, uh, Chris, I believe, is another one as well, and others who have left, who have come and gone, staff and others. She has been there since the beginning, since seven years. She has led to Suisei still being around. She has led to Miko still being around helping everyone from them to the very beginning to, to you know, uh, probably most likely mentoring Nodoka, mentoring a lot of these people. There is a lot of love going on. Also, when Hachama was taking a rest, she supported her. She sent her loving words. When Mio's taking a rest, the same thing. She is a big figurehead in the VTuber community overall. She's a big figurehead in Hololive and everything. She is a pillar to everything. All the hard work, supported livers, Achan did since the beginning, how life now these seven years. You're a treasure to everyone, and everyone will miss you. Of course, everyone will. Big and small. Achan is one of the three pillars of Hollow Live, Yago, Sora, and Achan. Also, you forget, Kiryu Koko is also a pillar. But uh, of the initial pillars, of the beginning structure, like if they were gone, it would disappear. Yes, she's one of those pillars. Hala today, even though she's stepping down from a legacy or remain in support of this company, wish her all the best. She deserves her flowers for the seven years she's been in Hala. She deserves so much more. And she's doing it for the best reasons, which is to help family. Now, for a moment, I want people to suspend their dislike and their hatred of this one person. Because I know in the community, a lot of people dislike her. A lot of people hate her. She has done a lot of things that are bad. Yes, she has a lot of mental health things that she has to deal with. But in this one instance, let it at least be a positive moment in the VTuber community. Because Miko Mikineko has decided to send good farewell as thank you for your hard work. Because she was there with Achan. Achan probably helped her a lot, as she's helped a lot of other people. Um, 
and it says down here, I'm sure many people know Mika Neko as a former Udo Harushia. We have a former terminated talent actually sending well wishes to an employee of the company where she was terminated from. Gesture speaks volumes in and of itself. That shows how important and respected Achan is within Hololive. And outside of it, not just within, the whole VTuber community respects her. Yeah, the whole VTuber sphere respects her. EN, JP, ID, they all respect her because she is a juggernaut, a pillar of the VTuber community, one of the few that we have. Rushi got to work with Achan for a couple of years before she was terminated. This goes to show that even though she was terminated, she acknowledges the impact Achan had to her during her stay in Hololive. The NDF loved to ass on Rushia because no one will defend her, but before her men had a breakdown, she was still a good friend to many Hollow members. Exactly. Not sure I've heard anything from anyone else's perspective, but Pekora and Noel have nothing bad to say about her. Uh, it says, despite everything, I can't hate Miko, Mika Neko. I mean, she did awful things, but she also gave us good memories. I just wish she gets the help that she needs. That's all I wish for. I'm not here to hate on somebody, whether they be on uh, Sanji. And I've gotten a lot of hate myself. I've gotten a lot of hate, um, you know, threats and such for not being so hating towards other people. I try to look at the humans behind the mask as humans behind the mask. And I do hate the management. I do hate Sanji as, as a agency, but not the people behind it. She does seem to be doing well for herself in the stable fan base, even if some of her more diehard fans have gone greener pastures, no pun intended. Even the cancellation of her career debut as Koito Ria was mainly because Voice Ore found itself in dire straits and basically shut down. So it wasn't really any fault of her own. Just to get some numbers, checked in on her current ASMR stream, she has 5.8k CCV, which is a respectable number of viewers for an, a for an, an agency VTuber, not, let alone a indie like she is maybe not hate her but i think she's a good example of things to avoid of course there are some things to avoid with her there are some things that she made mistakes of like i said i will not be an apologist for her but at least let her live her life the way she wants to now as she seems to want to change it is with a heavy heart that heavenrend has announced that its closure with talents rudimi and haruna graduating in july it has said rudimi yumini and uh haruna swift have informed us of their intent to graduate in order to pursue other career options after talking with them we have set their graduation dates as the following. Rurumi Yumeni, Yumeni is 7-13-2024. Haruna Swift is 7-14-2024. We're incredibly proud of what our talents have been able to accomplish, and we wish them the best of luck with their future pursuits. We sure that they will be succeeding in whatever they choose to do. As such, following these graduations, Heaven Rand will be closing its doors on 7-15-2024. It is because of that they have no more talents. There are no more talents left. Their last two remaining talents were these two. Matt is really sad, but not entirely expected news. I was a huge Heaven Rand fan, this person. On the days of Dr. Juliet and Kemoto were some of my favorite VTubers when they were around. I've been following the agency since its infancy due to the involvement of OGE and VTuber community members, and I don't regret it one bit. Although Haru and Rurumi weren't exactly my taste, it still makes me sad. This all has to end here with their graduation. They're wonderful talents who carved out their own neat, unique niche in their corner of the community. And it'll be a shame to see that be lost. Of course it will. Source, Heaven Rend, of course. Giving the source, the sauce. Everyone likes the sauce. Um, and this was on November 14th of 2023. They were having um, actions, have auditions have officially closed. Thank you very much for everyone who's applied. This was on November 30th. And now they're closing, of course. Because, um, unfortunately... They have no more talents, so they're not able to do what they want to do. As mentioned previously, as mentioned in other parts, I have mentioned that VTuber Rudumi is going to graduate. And with that graduation, uh, her agency is going to be closing. And um, it is very sad. The agency, of course, is Heavenrend. They apparently, from what I can tell, weren't doing anything negative towards her. But it is something that they have decided on their own. So... Here is what we're going to be writing here. It says, To Otaku-kun, Konbanwa, as most of you have read from the announcement of the previous stream, I, Rurumi Yumini, of Heavenrend, will be graduating from VTuber activities. My final graduation stream will be on July the 13th. Hope we can enjoy the fun upcoming two weeks together. Let's make the most out of it. Of course, if this was your Oshi, make the most out of this situation and just enjoy them. I'm so grateful for all the wonderful people I've, and friends I've met during the VTubing community. Uh, you are so kind and caring to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having Ren and Staff Sans who gave me a chance to be myself and achieve my goals. I never knew I could. Uh, thank you so much for all your hard work. Haruna, Juliet, and Staff San. And lastly, the biggest thank you to all of my lovely Otaku Kuns and thank you and that have supported me over this crazy two-year journey. There wasn't a single dull day when I'm with you. I will cherish these most precious memories spent together uh, forever. Uh, please remember that you always be with Rumi. I'm always thinking of you and cheering you on, Ruru, with puppy love, Rurumi Yunemi, Yumeni. So this is the liver that is graduating. 
they have, um, you know, announced it. Rurumi is always a lot of fun seeing her streams. Hope she gets onto bigger and better things. Heaven Ren is down to one member, Haruna Swift, but also Haruna has left. Please don't, uh, not a certain black company. Yes, July is here. Uh, to Otaku-kun, this whole thing here. Rurumi, as you're able to see here, is this liver, this VTuber here. Wanted to give you a bit of a view of everything that's going on. Um, they are, you know, they have their schedule going. This is their full-on art, their full-on uh, ref sheet. It's just a lot of fun stuff. And unfortunately, they had to leave. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.